Today we will solve a fluid flow problem. The problem is the flow over a cylinder and as you can see here uh, the problem statement is laminar flow over a heated cylinder. You can see the parameters our working fluid is air, our cylinder diameter is 2 inch, cylinder wall temperature is 80 degrees C that is 353 Kelvin. Inlet velocity will be based on Reynolds number 100 for laminar flow. Inlet air temperature is room temperature that is 25 degrees C or 298 Kelvin. We have to find the following parameters contour we have to find the velocity temperature and pressure contour we have to plot the velocity temperature and pressure at d 2d and 3d distance from the downstream of the cylinder we have to find the surface heat transfer coefficient each the average constant number and the total heat transfer so we will solve this problem in fluent and as you can see here this is our domain so from the beginning we will try to learn how to do that so let's start fluent and your first job is to do the geometry to develop the fluid domain so if you can see this slide here we have the top view and the front view of our fluid domain and our domain will look like this the length of our domain is 30 d our d is 2 inch so it will be 60 inch long and the downstream side is 20d that is 40 inch and the upstream is 20 inch so it's not at the center and the width is 15d that is 30 inch and 30 inch the height so you can think like a two and a half feet cross-sectional wind tunnel and the length of the wind tunnel is five feet long and we are doing a heated cylinder problem flow over a heated cylinder problem that the cylinder length is 10 inch and the cylinder surface temperature is 80 degrees c so if you go to the geometry if you enter into the geometry so here we have the geometry so we will develop the fluid domain and the cylinder so first of all let's draw the cylinder so select the xy plane and sketch this will be our cylinder cylinder and sketching tool go to circle make it normal Go to circle, dimension, general, D1, the diameter is 2 inch, so 2 inch and generate. So this is our cylinder and we have to extrude our cylinder. So we will extrude, our cylinder length is 10 inch, so we will extrude in both direction and our extrusion height will be 5 inch in both sides so that will be 10 inch and generate so now you have the cylinder you have the 10 inch cylinder and you have one part one body now we will create our domain so go to xy plane sketch and this will be our domain domain select the domain and make it normal 
and go to sketch tool rectangle try rectangle and then dimension this length is 30 d so 60 inch and this length is 15 d that means 30 inch and this length is 10 d so 20 inch so select horizontal this point and this point this is 20 and select vertical and this point and this point is 15 inch so now it's in the center as you can see so generate and extrude our extrusion will be both direction first in material at frozen and the direction would be both side and the depth would be 15 inch so generate so now you have a fluid domain and you have a solid cylinder inside the fluid domain you can see here we have a longer downstream a shorter upstream and we have the cylinder and we have two part one part one body right now this one is the fluid domain change the material from solid to fluid and generate now you have a fluid domain and a solid cylinder so change it to domain so now what you have to do you have to cut this cylinder from this domain so go to create boolean and you have the subtraction option create the target body that is your domain and your tool body is your solid cylinder apply and generate then you have only one part and one body that is your fluid domain so your geometry is done if you can see here your geometry is done and now you have to do the meshing now we will do the meshing so your geometry is done so select your meshing tool and you will get the meshing module so here is the meshing module we are doing tetrahedron pitch confirming method select ok and with this default meshing generate your mesh and as you can see you have generated your mesh if you go to statics you can see the number of nodes and number of elements right now is 64,000 so we can increase a little bit by making it from course to fine and then update again and it will update to a finer mesh now it's a finer mesh and you can see the number of elements right now is 385,000 and nodes is around 70,000 our cylinder is here and this is our fluid domain what we have to do right now we have to make an inflation layer because right now we don't have any inflation layer if you want to see go here and cut your domain and you can see here you don't have any inflation layer so we will generate an inflation layer so to do that go to wireframe and go to mesh control inflation geometry is this fluid domain boundary is 
the cylinder wall the middle so apply and number of maximum layers let's say 10 and update so our inflation is done if you want to see the inflation layer you go here and cut the plane and if you zoom it you can see the nice inflation layer around the cylinder so our inflation layer is pretty much done so this is our meshing if you can want to see the final node you can see here right now is 224 thousand nodes and one last thing we have to do here is we have to specify the boundaries so this face is our inlet so we will select this and right click inlet and this face is our outlet so we will select this right click outlet and this four face will be symmetric wall we don't want any viscous effect so we will use symmetric wall symmetry wall and finally our cylinder so we can select our cylinder wall from the middle you can see here right click cylinder wall so that's it so your meshing is done update one last time and you can see your meshing is done In the next tutorial we will see how to case set up the problem apply the boundary condition and solve the solution thank you